Okay, this is a video solution for exam number two, review problem six. In this problem, we have a linear time invariant system, and it's known to have dominant poles at these locations, minus 2j and minus 2 minus j. Yeah. Using the ideal second order system model, estimate the rise time tr, the second time ts, and the percent overshoot mp. Okay, so the approach to this problem is to know the second order ideal model, and it's this transfer function that we've talked about several times in class. All right, so we know the pole locations, so we plug them into the form we've been using to, to give us a quick and easy way of writing out uh, the S domain pole locations. And so we have something of this form, and we just need to um, rearrange this and, and take a look at what the uh, parameters would be. Okay, so we know that equating terms, we have 2 omega n zeta s has to be equal to the 4. Okay, and then we also know that omega n squared has to be 5. So we're just taking off terms and, and coming up with the equations there. All right, so plugging this and solving for zeta in MATLAB, I get point, point, point 0.8944. Sorry, I couldn't highlight that. And then omega n, we get square root 5. And so that lets us calculate the rise time using the, uh, the formula 1.8 over omega n. It lets us calculate the settling time, 4.6 over zeta omega n and we get 2.3 and then we also get um, the rise time of 0.3625 percent so it's not going to overshoot i'm sorry overshoot overshoot is 0.3625 it's not going to overshoot by very much and so since we're in matlab we're going to actually take a quick look at the plot of the step response and this is what we get Okay, and so remember the rise time is the time it takes to get from point one, so about right here, a little, you know, about 0.2 seconds there, to 90%. So I move over to 90% and drop my way down. And um, so about 1. Point, a little more than 1.5. Okay, and so that matches the rise time of about 0.8 that we got um, from our calculation. And then the settling time, you know, it takes a couple of seconds to get out to the place where it's pretty close to the final value. So you can see this works out like it's supposed to work out. 